What's going on everyone? So today we're actually going to be jumping into Foundry Virtual Tabletop and D&D Beyond in order to be able to port our D&D Beyond player characters over into Foundry Virtual Tabletop for us to play. And we can also roll from D&D Beyond if we want to into Foundry. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so like I said, we're going to be jumping into D&D Beyond and into Foundry over here in a second. But before we start that, my name is Howie, uh, or Howard, or whatever you want to call me. Uh, this is the Blue Collar DM YouTube channel, channel dedicated to breaking down those barriers for new players and dungeon masters alike. I actually stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Link for that Twitch stream is going to be down in that description below there. We talk about Dungeons and Dragons, tabletop role-playing, ways in order to be able to utilize Foundry Virtual Tabletop, all kinds of different things related to Dungeons and Dragons here on the channel. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Now, in order to do that, we're actually going to still, like I said, for this video, come over here to the computer. So you'll see that here right in a second as the screen changes over. And here we have Rando the Magnificent. He is a level one stout halfling warlock. Uh, he's got some different items here and stuff like that, and you can actually see this little icon that pops up periodically on the screen. And that is actually the D&D Beyond 20 module. So, in order to do that, we need to do a couple things to set this up. We need to first get the Beyond 20 extension for either Firefox or Google Chrome. There is, oh, I need to put in Beyond 20, not Beyond. <laughs> there we go. So we have Beyond 20 here for Chrome. There's also the Firefox extension down here. Whatever the case may be, whatever you're using, I like Firefox just because uh, there's some weird things with the Google graphics that they kind of block you from doing certain things if you're not sure, if you're not 100% know what you're doing. So keep that in mind. This also does work for D uh, for Roll20 if you want to use it, um, but that's up to you. But we're talking about Foundry today. So I'm just gonna show you how to sign it up on Foundry. So we need the extension. We also need our test world, or my world is the test world. But whatever world you're using, we need it set up. So I have it set up here. I've got myself logged in not only on my Foundry side, but also on my internet side. Now I'm gonna obviously block this out once we're done uh, with this part of the video. Um, once I'm done recording this and all that stuff, so sorry you can't jump into my games or jump into my servers. So, sorry guys, it's here. Um, but what we're gonna do, and you can see here, I've done a little bit of testing here. So we have Rando the Magnificent is what we're gonna be porting over. So in order to do that, we gotta make a new character. So we're gonna create an actor. We're gonna just call him Rando. So there's Rando, create. And you can see this little B here next to his name. So we're gonna click on that. And that's what we actually need to do. So now that we've done that, we're gonna come here. We're gonna grab this link for our character. And we're gonna put that URL in here. It's gonna create some stuff. It's gonna fill in some things. Now, I'm gonna actually close this out because what I'm gonna do is you can see here, we're gonna need to import the character. And the way we do this is we're gonna have to need to get the JSON coding for it. Don't worry about what that means, but basically what we need to do is that once we close this, the little D&D Beyond button will turn red. It'll be a red B. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the Alt button and use our left click on the mouse button. That's gonna open up the JSON actual page unless you wanna go in and try to figure out how to type all this in plus the, that just makes it easier just to close it. Alt, click, it's gonna open up the JSON. Now you want the raw data here. We're gonna highlight all of it, copy it, get rid of that, go back into our little B here, paste it in here. Now it's gonna add everything to his character sheet and update it all. So as you can see, we've got the health, we've got his actual full name now. Uh, we've got its hit points for some reason is still not coming in right, which whatever, we'll fix that here. For whatever reason, there's certain things that are still a little buggy because it is still kind of in, uh, this whole software is in beta. It's not completely done yet, which totally understandable. Some of the stats look like they're, uh, actually, I think they're right. Yeah, so we got seven, 11, 11, six. Yeah, he's a really, uh, didn't roll very well for his starting, uh, <laughs> starting um, uh, hit points and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, whatever, it's a, it is what it is. So, we've also got our inventory. It's got all of his stuff. He's got his unarmed strike, his dagger, his crossbows, all the stuff that he needs. He's got his armor class. He's got everything that he needs in there. Um, and he's got his spell save DC in here as well. We come over here. He's got a charisma casting. He's got his thunderclap. He's got all of his stuff. Now, if we jump back over here to inventory, we can roll from in here. We can roll it like we normally would for Foundry Virtual Tabletop, which brings it up in the chat box. We hit the attack button. Say it's a normal roll. It'll roll it. I've got some cool dice on here right now, so that's why it's coming in that way. You can do this on either side too, by the way. You can do it from the GM screen or you can do it from this player portals screen. It'll do it on both sides. It'll actually roll in here as well, uh, which you'll see right here as well. So if I actually go back here, 
and I don't think it'll actually show me attacking with a dagger from over here if I bring it over. Actually, it does, so there you go. Brings the dice in nice and clean, looks really polished, I like it. The other thing you can do is you don't have to roll from your character sheet here on Foundry if you don't want to. What you can actually do after importing everything in here is you can actually click that light crossbow. It's actually gonna roll over here in Foundry for you, roll the damage and the attack to hit. So, a little different, <laughs> a little bit crazy. So we roll a 13 plus two to hit with our light crossbow because of the bonuses that we have for attacking and it's ported in here. So, pretty good and pretty easy to utilize this kind of backwards compatibility. Now, it's gonna populate everything based on what you have in D&D Beyond. So if you have the player's handbook, if you have stuff from uh, Wayfinder's Guide to Eberron or the uh, Eberron Rising from the Last War, which is back there. Uh, if you have Guild of the Master's Guide to Ravnica stuff, if you've got Xanathar, San not Xanathar, Xanathar stuff, um, it'll actually, once you make the character in D&D Beyond, it will actually port all that stuff over to copy that character into Foundry, which is amazing. Uh, I love it so much. Um, it just makes stuff a lot easier, especially for those of you who have D&D Beyond um, assets that you've been utilizing in your home games, but now you can't use it because of COVID or whatever the case may be. Or maybe you just want to play online as a player or as a dungeon master or whatever the case may be. You can actually do this stuff here with that Beyond 20 module. And that's basically going to be kind of our little quick breakdown on how to actually utilize D&D Beyond and bring it into Foundry Virtual Tabletop. So now you can actually utilize your D&D Beyond content not just in person or in Roll20. You can use it there if you want, it's up to you. But I like the flexibility of having it in Foundry because Foundry has all those amazing dynamic lighting tools. It's got all that extra stuff. It's got the modules that you can add in here to make the experience the way you want it to be. The interface is much more polished. We've kind of talked about that. There's a video that I have comparing all the virtual tabletops, which I'll link if I haven't mentioned it already down in the description or I'll put it up here by the logo and stuff like that. But like I said, that's going to kind of end the video. If you have any questions, comment section's great. Also, that live stream, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Link for that Twitch stream is going to be down in that description. I am thinking about trying to figure out how to get it on Facebook and, um, and on YouTube as well. Um, so look out for that in the future. We'll see if that is a way, if, if that's a good method or not. We'll figure that out. Um, but otherwise, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys learned something today. And until next time, happy gaming.